This top was very heavily inspired by a picture I saw on Pinterest. I have no idea who the actual designer is, but I had it saved for a while. This is the picture of the original style. I really liked it all, but I didn't want mine to have like such a deep neckline and I didn't really like the sleeves. Like, I mean, the way her cuffs are, I don't know. I just didn't like the idea of like it's like having that extra fabric where it's just like flapping around. So I did mine with a button instead. So yeah, apart from those small tweaks that I made to mine, I think I did a good job of, of you know, recreating this. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Was this a hit or a miss? And um, yeah. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Fumi and if this is the first time you're seeing me, you're welcome to my channel here. I post sewing tutorials, DIYs and stuff like that. So if any of that interests you, then you definitely want to stick around. And maybe while you're at it, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. So today's tutorial, I'm so excited for this one because before I did it, I was really nervous. And I had this fabric since last year to make this top, but like, I felt like it, it might not come out great, but it really did. So this is the top that we're making in today's tutorial as you can see it is a cow neck top and it has a collar as well like i've done a cow neck like i've done cow neck dresses tops and all but i have never done one that also had a collar so i was really nervous about trying this out but it turned out really great so if you would like to see how to make this top then um yeah stay tuned and i will see you at the end of the video First of all, here's everything that we're using for this project. And now starting off with my fabric folded over neatly, as you can see, this area here is going to be the shoulder. And you can see that this is a folded edge. So with my measuring tape, the first measurement that I'm taking is the full length of my top. I'm using about 26 inches, but this is basically up to your discretion. Like however long you want your top to be, then this is the point where you mark the length that you choose for this top so i like my top seat just a bit long so yeah then on this area right here i'm going to mark my shoulder measurement divided by two and then i added half an inch just because this is a loose top and then i'm coming down by an inch on that shoulder point right there and then for the width of my neck i'm using three inches and you can see right there three inches and then i'm coming down by one inch that's the depth of the back of my neck so i'm just going to connect the points and then i'm going to connect my shoulder to my neckline with a slanted line you can see and from that point i'm going to come down by eight inches because eight inches is my armhole measurement so eight inches and i've marked that now i'm going to connect these two points together it's going to form sort of a, like an l shape yeah it's forming an l shape as you can see and on this point here i'm going to mark my hip measurement divided by four plus two inches for sewing allowance and then just for extra room because this is a really loose top and then at this corner of the l shape right here i'm just making it curved instead of just a sharp edge so you can see what i've done and i'm going to take the same measurement and mark it at the hem of my top as well so it's just going to be a straight top it's like a straight loose fitted top like a loose top i'm sorry it's not fitted at all so you can see i'm just connecting it with a straight line and then using my office pins to hold it at certain points so it doesn't move around as i cut and there you have it this is what my the back of my top is looking like right now now i'm laying what i just cut out as the back of my top on my folded fabric once again you can see that the hem matches up with the bottom and then i left a lot of room up here just about six to almost seven inches up here because it's a cow neck and i need that allowance so with my chalk the first thing that i'm doing is I'm sorry, I, or you can already see markings there because I didn't know that my camera wasn't recording at the time. So I'm redoing this. So I'm just 
tracing the side of my already cut top and then i'm going to tilt my the back of my top the part that i've already cut as you can see me doing here just going to tilt it you can see just slightly below the armhole so this area is going to be a bit curved the area just before the armhole you can see what i'm doing it it's it has just a bit of a curve because of the fact that it tilted it a bit now with my measuring tape i'm going to check the distance between the shoulder and the center front you can see it's 11 inches i want mine to be 10 inches so i'm just going to bring it forward just a bit and you can see now 10 inches so this is fine for me if you want more volume you can do more so with my chalk i'm marking the shoulder line and then the armhole so now from that from that shoulder points right there because we're not following the neckline or the back i connected it with like a curved line up there as you can see and now i'm just pinning everything in place so that i can cut the front piece as well this is what we have now onto the sleeves i folded over my fabric by the way i'm using a yard and a half of duchess fabric so i folded it over and first thing i'm doing is to mark the length of my sleeves so i'm just marking the length i added just about an inch and a half extra for sewing allowance so this point up here is where the armhole is going to where the sleeve is going to be connected to the armhole so first i'm drawing this weird wavy sort of shape as you can see and then i'm going to take my measuring tape to measure out 10 inches because 10 inches is what i have as the measurement of my armhole i measured the armhole after cutting my um my bodies of this top so after marking my 10 inches i'm going to go to the base of the sleeve right here and i'm marking 12 inches at the base of the sleeve because i just want a bit more volume on my sleeves you can make yours trust me with 10 inches the same as on the top but i want some volume for my sleeves so yeah 12 inches and this is what my sleeve looks like here is my front and back bodies for my top so i'm just going to make a slight adjustment to the armhole of the front piece i do this for like the front armhole all the time at the center of the armhole i come in by half an inch and then i just connect that point to the shoulder line and to the rest of the armhole after which i would cut it out so here I have some fabric that I'm going to use for the cuffs of my sleeves. So I'm folding this over. This is the way it's going to be attached. And I have four inches here, which is fine. And so for the width, I'm going to measure the width of the circumference of my wrist, basically, plus an inch and a half. Or you can go as much as adding two inches extra. Or two and a half inches to be honest because it's going to overlap so i'm going to cut that area and i cut out two pieces because i have two sleeves we have two sleeves for the top so yeah now i'm going to connect this shoulder and the side seam for my bodies and here's what my top is looking like after joining the shoulder and side seams I love the volume, I love how it's looking, but I am feeling like I should reduce it on the sides just a bit, or maybe not. Anyway, on my sleeves, onto my sleeves, um, I'm just going to join the side seams and then I'm going to attach it to the body of my top. 
for the side i'm going to stop somewhere around here like i'm going to leave some space of like four inches so i'm going to sew from this point and just stop like four inches before the hem of the sleeve so here's what my sleeve looks like this is my sleeve this is the body of my top that's the shoulder seam right there i've pinned everything in place and i'm about to attach my sleeves to the body of my top so i just want to show you how i'm attaching it so you can see that i have pinned everything and i made sure that the side seam which is right here and the under of my sleeve the under seam of my sleeve are aligned as you can see and here is what our top looks like it's looking really good and i'm really happy with the results so far so you can see right here the four inch space that i left when i joined my sleeve and for the cuff which is this piece right here i'm going to iron some fusible interface into it here is what it looks like my interfacing this is the wrong side of the fabric where i ironed it and this is the front of the fabric so i'm just going to fold it over like this and then i'm going to use a regular straight stitch to sew down the two sides leaving about half an inch or less of sewing allowance on the sides and then i'm going to turn it right side out so here's what it looks like after i sew down the sides this is what the other one looks like i've turned it right side out so i'm just going to take it and iron it and then i'm also when i iron it i'm going to fold at this raw edge i'm going to fold in about half an inch as you can see me holding it right here i'm going to fold that as i iron it all the way around this raw edge all right so here's our sleeve and here is our cuff all pressed and nicely ironed you can see i tucked in the half inch at the raw edge as i explained earlier so I'm going to mark the center point of the cuff and then the center point of the sleeve as well and then pin them together just to make it easier for me because first of all I'm going to fold this edge like this and then I'm going to sew to um, finish up this edge here then I'm going to like sandwich it in between my cuff piece like this and then sort of create like tiny rough holes and sew all the way around so the center point of the cuff needs to be aligned with the center point of the sleeve so you can see i've marked both of them and i'm pinning them together right now just so that those rough holes can be evenly distributed all around the sleeves so I'm just going to, you can see as I'm demonstrating, this is basically what I'm going to do at my sewing machine as I sew. Just do that all the way around. And of course, before doing that, first of all, fold over this edge twice, as you can see me doing here. And then sew with a straight stitch just to finish off that edge. So here is the sleeve. Here's what it looks like all nice and finished you can see this area where i folded over and then you can see i've pressed it and it looks really good right now so yeah i'm really happy with how it looks and here's our finished cuff so this is what's left of my fabric it's not much but it's it will do for the color if you can please get two yards instead of just one and a half like i did so first of all, I'm going to measure this back area of the neck, just the back of the neck first of all. And I have just exactly 7 inches. inches for the back of the neck. Then the collar is going to come forward just a bit, but not so much. So I'm thinking I will just bring my collar forward by say about three inches so i'm going to add three inches on each side 
so that brings the whole total of the um, neck area to be about 13 inches so I'm going ahead to fold my fabric over I'm going to cut the color right now so the 13 inches that I measured earlier divided by 2 plus an inch is seven and a half so you can see I'm marking my seven and a half that is going to be the width of the collar and then the height is three and a half inches so I'm marking my three and a half inches Just carefully along the width just to make sure I have a straight line so I'm connecting all of my dots And then the top area is going to be wider than the bottom area so i'm adding an extra inch to the top area here so this top is wider than this space so it's going to give like a slanted line as you can see and now for this point here i'm going to come up by just about half an inch so i'm just going to carefully mark my half inch point right there and then I'm just going to connect it in sort of like a curved line to the other edge so now I'm just going to pin everything in place and cut out my collar I'm going to cut the second piece of this because the collar has two pieces basically the front and the back so here's one and then I'm going to cut the second one. But you can see how it looks. It's looking good so far. So I'm happy with what, with what is going on right now. So yeah. Alright, so here is our second piece and I'm going to head to iron them and press my fusible interfacing on the wrong side of the fabric for both pieces. So I'm just going to lay them together front facing front and then I'm going to sew all the way around but I'm going to leave this area open. So here it is, I've cut those corners as you can see, just made little snips at the corners here and then here. So I'm going to turn it right side out I'm going to press it and then when I press it I'm also going to like we did for the cuffs I'm also going to fold in just about half an inch all around this edge this open edge here and this is what it looks like all pressed and nicely finished So I've marked my center, the center of my collar and then you can see I've finished the raw edges of my neckline and I have marked the center of the back as well. So I'm going to align those two and connect, I mean and join the collar to the top. So you can see right here, I joined the back already. I'm going to remove this pin so I can show you because I really wanted to show you how I joined this together. So you can see I just joined the back. You can see I left this area open and I joined the back to my top. And you can see that at the front area I have more than half an inch of an allowance coming out because all the way around at the back you can see that it's just an, a half inch allowance but as I came towards the front I took in more fabric there so I'm going to tuck it in like this and then I'm going to sew sew the collar closed just so that I can have this area finished So I'm just going to tuck that in and sew a straight stitch to cover everything up. You can see how the back looks. 
and here is our collar here is the front of the top it's looking good and it's basically finished i also went ahead to fold over the hem so i sew the hem and then all that's left to do is put my buttons on the cuffs and my buttonhole as well using my buttonhole foot let me know if you'd like a quick tutorial on that and here is the final result thank you so much for watching and um i hope this tutorial was really helpful remember if you have any questions at all or anything that you were not so clear about then please let me know in the comment section and i will get to it as soon as possible um and also if you have like a request a tutorial that you'd like to see you can send me the picture on instagram my instagram is linked in the description box don't forget to like this video if you liked it if you enjoyed it if you're still watching to this point then you most likely enjoyed it so please don't forget to like this video subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next week bye